In this video, I'm going to talk about what will end up being our multiplication in the fundamental group. We're going to talk about composition of paths. Alright, so suppose we have two paths, F and G, they're maps from the interval into our space, um, and we want to have that the end point of F is the start point of G. So F of 1 equals G of 0, which means that in our ambient space, we'll have something like, this is F, so this is F0, start point of F, this is F1, which is going to be equal to G of 0, and that's going to be G1. So these are our paths, um, and the composition it's just going to be do this at double speed and then do this at double speed. So we're going to take f dot g and I want to say that um, the order of this multiplication or this operation um, is different in different textbooks. I'm going to stick to the um, notation used by Hatcher. Uh, so that's going to be again from the interval into into our space, and it's going to send a point in the interval to f of 2s, uh, if s is in 0 to a half, and it's going to send it to g of 2s minus 1, if s is from a half to 1. Okay, so that's on the first half of the interval, traverse f, on the second half of the interval, traverse g. Now, an important thing about composition is that it's preserved by homotopy. So that is, if I have f homotopic to h to g and h homotopic to k, and we'll say we'll choose some homotopies here. So we'll choose H here, and we'll choose G here. It doesn't really matter what the homotopies are, just that there exist homotopies. Um, and I'm gonna draw our our paths. So let's say that this is F, and this is G, and we'll say that. This is H, and that this is K. So first we have this homotopy H, and it takes us from F to G. And then we have this homotopy G, and it takes us from H to K. All right. And Saying that, saying that um, composition is preserved by homotopy, what I'm trying to say is that the homotopy class of F composed with H is the same as the homotopy class of G composed with K. So what does that mean? That means I need to find a homotopy between these two compositions. And... Um, the homotopy that we use, so we take the i across i that we're the interval across the interval that we're mapping out of, and on one side we want f composed with h, on the other side we want g composed with k. Um, note that this may the as in as a homotopy of paths this makes sense because um, f and g have the same starting point, so this is f of 0, g of 0, and h and k of the same end point, so this is um, h of 1 equals k of 1. Alright, now what do I want my homotopy here to be? I want to, on this half of it, I want to do the homotopy I have, h, and on this half of it, I want to do the homotopy I have, g. So this, is, this new homotopy I have is going to be f. It's going to go from the interval, interval crossing interval to x. Um, and it's going to take 
ts to, all right, I want h t to s and g t to s minus 1. For s from 0 to a half, and for s from a half to 1. All right, so we've constructed a homotopy, um, and what this tells us is that, among other things, is that f, if we set this to be equal to this, so now we're defining an operation on homotopy, class, on homotopy classes of paths, um, that this is a well-defined operation.